Hello, this is Brian Vickery from Denver, Colorado, and I'm here with another video log. Um, I was driving down the, uh, the freeway this weekend and uh, heard just one of those leadership luminaries come on the radio. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about that great visionary that uh, ran for president in 1980, Joe Walsh uh, of uh, the Eagles fame. Uh, but anyway, so my daughter and I were going down the road and uh, life's been good. Uh, it came on the uh, come on came on the radio. I listened to uh, classic rewind on Sirius XM, and uh, I wanted her to listen to the total irreverence of the song. Uh, it is a song I loved growing up, just along with Hotel California. And um, we started listening to the song, cranking up the music, of course, in that uh, nice Camaro that I drive, and uh, started listening to the words. And I wait and said, "Wait a minute! There there seems to be some uh, some great life lessons in it." And sure enough, the mind gets working, and uh, I decided to share those life lessons with you. So let's start out and discover the wisdom of Joe Walsh. Now, the first one is, I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Now, this is a big situation for me, because most of you, if you've read my blog comments, or hopefully my, my blog basis as well, but I pretty much love my life. Um, I think I've been abundantly blessed. Uh, I have a great family, great job, etc. Uh, yet I can still get wrapped around the axle um, with uh, bad experiences that happen. And uh, for some reason, it tends to correspond with uh, slow Subaru drivers that are in front of me in traffic. Uh, but it makes me lose sight uh, of just the, the wonderful blessings that I do have in my life. So, you know, what my proposed solution is, what I've been trying to do myself, as on my outbound commute, I generally turn off the radio. Uh, I actually want to be able to reflect upon my life and all the good things that I have. Uh, and it kind of lets me get that nice quiet spot so I can uh, you know, continue to remind myself that uh, in general, I have it very good. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is they write me letters, tell me I'm great. Uh, now, most of us in, in social media, we're actively engaging other people. Uh, and when we do, you know, our, our communications can kind of span a spectrum from anywhere from just having a neutral conversation to having one that's uh, basically uh, providing a lot of positive feedback and encouragement to rampant praise uh, with, you know, hallelujah chorus going in the background. Um, and there's actually studies that have been shown that, that people will see these interactions with other people and feel depressed because they feel like their own life must be, you know, terrible in comparison to what they're reading uh, of these great people uh, with the dialogue that's going back and forth there. So my, my thing there is, uh, my proposed solution there, is to actually be willing to delve a little bit deeper into these relationships that we're developing in social media. Uh, and to tell you the truth, not to just limit it to social media. We have people in real life that could use some of that praise as well. Uh, so let's not just leave our good sentiment for what we use with a keyboard, but uh, our friends that we see, the people we talk to on the phone, and definitely the people that, we, uh, that, that are under the same roof for this, we need to reserve some of those, uh, uh, some of those positive words for them as well. Uh, the next thing is, it's tough to handle this fortune and fame. Everybody's so different, I haven't changed. Now, from a work standpoint, if we do everything right, uh, we're probably going to, to, to have some measure of success. Uh, now, as we get success, then temptations will arise for us to spend either more time or perhaps more financial um, uh, resources uh, to, to perhaps grow that success. Now, my proposed solution is we still need to remain mindful of the fundamentals that got us there, that, that, that where we tasted that initial success. So if you're tempted to invest more time, I recommend investing that time in basically mentoring uh, your employees, okay? You need to be able to teach them how to fish. Uh, you know, a lot of times when we scale, one of the, the big obstacles we have uh, uh, if we have success is, is how do we scale ourselves? And so I think one way that we do that is by teaching other people to do what we do so that as we have future and bigger success, we can scale and it'll still be around what our core values are. 
Now, if the temptations are financial, then, you know, I'll, I'll just say this. There's, there's a great quote I like that, that goes, a wise man has many counselors. And so when it comes to, you know, if you're, if you're looking at investing even more financially, uh, I invite you, I encourage you to find uh, more, counsels, more counselors, people that you admire, respect for their own values uh, and own, their own way of, of leading their lives and, and, and running their companies. Um, and you may still discover that these people, after, after all these people provided you counsel, that it's still something you want to go for. Uh, and if it's a situation where you decided, you know what, I'm going to go for it, and I know that it may kind of over leverage me or, or, or require just additional commitment than what I'm, than what I'm doing right now, uh, that's fine. Uh, just, you know, make sure that it is a calculated risk where you've actually looked at all the, uh, um, all the variables that are going to go into it and have a well-defined investment threshold, know what your costs are, if at all possible, and definitely define what is your measure of both success and failure, and then try to adhere to that as you go through so you don't do the expression throwing good money after bad. Now, the fourth thing is, I keep on going, guess I'll never know why. Uh, you know, Put simply, if, if, if you're just working for the sake of working, uh, or if you've kind of lost sight of why you're doing what you're doing, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, so my proposed solution is never lose sight of your core values and a strategy to accomplish goals consistent with those values. So working for the sake of work is not a strategy. Uh, and, and really, I'll take it a step further and, and, and say uh, working for the sake of a paycheck uh, is also not the best strategy. Now, I know that we all have roofs over our heads and perhaps uh, college expenses for kids or, or whatever that may be, and, and you know, we need to work. We need to have money, that, that, that financial uh, capability. But if you can find that which you love, to do, then one, it's not so much work, and, and it definitely makes life a whole lot more bearable and, and downright happy in some cases, um, if you can find that which you enjoy doing, and then what you have to do is kind of limit and adapt your lifestyle accordingly so you can continue doing what you enjoy doing. Now, of course, the last point is life's been good to me so far. Now, I never want to lose sight of this tidbit of wisdom. It's, it's, it's the primary basis for this song. Um, Life has thrown me curves along the way, just like I'm sure it's thrown uh, curves uh, for many of you as well. Uh, so yes, I've, I've definitely had my share of curves, and and did everything go my way, and and, and you know according to plan? Absolutely not. Uh, but what I do focus on is that I have a loving, healthy family uh, that has a great sense of humor. Uh, and uh, I've really been blessed in that they're not so wrapped up in material possessions. So my proposed solution for this is choose carefully your metrics for success. See the blessings in the little things, and a lot of times those bigger blessings will come along um, afterwards. So in conclusion, I just wanted to point out where an old rocker like Joe Walsh could still teach us something um, about, uh, about life. And I hope you've enjoyed these five life lessons. Uh, and you know, perhaps that goal of a Maserati doing 185 may be a may be a suitable prize for this. Uh, but uh, Maserati's not your thing. That's okay. Uh, so I look forward to your comments on how you remind yourself that life's been good. And of course, I got a video at the bottom of this page that shows Joe Walsh doing his thing. So thank you for your time and have a fantastic day.